Watching Caribbean Vibrations, it's your boy Alan, and I'm here with Miss Yandy Phillips. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you, Alan. How are you? I'm better. I'm much better. Where's your usual host? Fired. I wanted this interview straight up. Sorry, Norez. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. And we're actually here. You, you said you have family here from Toronto, so you're here a lot. I already asked you, but I would like them to know what's your favorite part of Toronto? I really. What's the name of it again? I can't remember. Okay, it's a theme park. I love the theme park here. You have really good roller coasters, good rides. Canada's Wonderland. Is it Canada's Wonderland or just Wonderland? Uh, either or. Are you Canadian? Um, kind of, sort of, but not really. So I shouldn't take your advice. Not at all. Okay. Wonder well, you want to talk about fets and and carnivals? Okay, we can talk about that after. Okay. But this is type. This is kind of a carnival ish. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love Wonderland. It's mm. such a nice... There's a big kid in me. Mm -hmm. Lots of people don't know that um, I'm quite the overgrown child. So that's a perfect spot for me. Okay. Now, today we're here actually here because you're here to promote your DVD. So, why a DVD? Why'd you do it? Why not a DVD and why not do it? I am a dancer. That's actually what I am first and foremost. And for those who don't know, you're Miss Jamaica. First runner-up, Miss Universe. So they, don't, they might not know you're a dancer. True. A lot of people actually don't know that side of me. A lot of people associate me with um, with pageantry and with television, but I actually am a trained dancer. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in dance. I've been dancing since I was three years old, and um, dance is my way of staying in shape. My dance was my dance was my way of getting in shape for the competitions, and so what I've done is. Um, kind of drawn on my Jamaican dance hall culture, my dance background, and created this fitness regimen that is in the dance fitness. Just for just for my sake, is it more of a female gear thing, or can guys do it too? Oh, guys can do it too. You guys also need to know how to bubble, because it's... um. You know how to... Pardon me? Bubble? Yes. You know how to bubble? Yes. <laughs> I feel like asking you to bubble, but I feel like... you. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course, no, men can do it too because it's not just about that. It's also, there's a lot of cardio involved, a lot of sculpting. Um, if you don't have good arms, chances are, Alan, you won't be able to do some of it. So you could actually get to get to doing the DVD. You know, you I won't take it personal, but we know I have nice arms. Okay, he has nice arms. Again, she's a comedian, but... You know what actually we were talking about earlier off camera was your love of dance, but your love of carnivals. Mm -hmm. So you are Jamaican, but you love Jamaican carnival and what other carnival do you like as well? I love Trinidad Carnival. You know what I think it is actually? It's funny that you mentioned my love of dance, but it's the freedom to move your body as you please. It's the freedom to allow the music to hit you the way um, it hits you without inhibition. I think I love uh, the celebration of life and I find that um, it's almost like in essence, okay, it's going to sound really corny and really deep, right? But it really is how I feel. Um, we have an we have a, inner beat all the time. We have our heartbeat, right? So we have a we have an internal beat going all the time. And it's the moment where you get to connect with that inner beat and be free. And I really love the idea of just fetting on the road and just living life like it's golden, you know? Live your life like you're playing mass. Or that. Mm -hmm. Now I have a separate question in regards to pageants. Mm -hmm. Now pageants haven't always got the best rap, but everybody that I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of women who've been involved in page pageants and they're so intelligent and they're so well spoken and it's not just about the physical. If someone wanted to if a girl was thinking about entering a pageant, what advice would you give her? You know what? Uh I remember I grew up a lot hearing people say, you should do Miss Jamaica, you should enter Miss Jamaica. People say to my parents, oh, your daughter going to be Miss Jamaica or something. And, and I remember becoming interested in it or feeling like it could have been a possibility for me. And I remembered feeling like if I were to do it, it'd be really important for me to people to think that I wasn't just a pretty face. And I made sure to complete both my degrees before I went for it. So my advice would be um, to 
expand your knowledge base. Uh, I would say specialize in whatever field it is that you'd like to specialize in prior to doing it, only because if that goes well, that's it. Eh? You, you're sailing from there on. It's kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of hard to go back to school once you've done it. Um, and so I did my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Dance before. I did my Master's in Recreation and Entertainment Management before. Uh, and so you kind of give yourself a great platform from which to speak for people to almost take you more seriously because you're not resting on looks. So my thing would be education first and then compete. Okay, thank you very much. Now, if people want to get in touch with you, find out more information about the DVD, all that. Instagram. You said thank you very much. I thought you were taking the advice for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing a pageant? Maybe. Oh. Well, how do we get in touch? See? Oh, it's the TV thing. It's the TV thing. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> thank you, Crystal. If people want to get this, how do they get it? How did you get that? Don't worry about it. It's TV magic. Who's, did you call me Crystal? Who's Crystal? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Big ups to Crystal. <laughs> um, it's actually here in Canada in Walmart right now. Everyone can go on out to Walmart and get it in the stores. Uh, we also have it. It's available at Walmart online. So if you go to um, if Google Walmart, go on other online presence, is, or it's walmart.ca, I believe it is. You can find it there and for more information on upcoming promotions on things that are happening with the dvd which is called in the dance fitness you're going to go to www.inthedancefitness.com where are you going to go www.inthedancefitness.com and where is it available walmart walmart.ca there you go walmart.com Com maybe? I don't know, but no, .ca, okay. Now, if people want to find out about Yendi, what are you up to? Is there Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff? Yes, I have big social media presence. So on Facebook, I am Yendi Phillips, two L's, two P's, so that's P-H-I-L-L-I-P-P-S. I think somebody made a, made a mistake somewhere when that or registering my great-grandfather. I don't know. Um, and then my Twitter is at I am Yendi, Y-E-N-D-I. And my Instagram is Yendizzle. Y e n d i z z l e. Don't look at me. Stop judging. You just wish your Instagram was as cool. I actually do. I actually do. Instagram name. What's your Instagram? Carib Vibe TV. See, it should have been Caribizzle for Shizzle in the Hizzle. T Vizzle. I'm sorry. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. Thank you so much, Andy. We really appreciate your time. Good luck with the DVD. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. Can you dance? Yeah, I can dance. To left feet dance or dance? Depends on the music. To right feet? Depends on the music. Okay. Try the DVD. Oh. And you're watching Caribbean Vibrations. <laughs>